muscles of the body, where they originate, where they insert, and the various actions that they perform. Before I get started, I wanted to go over some general basics. And remember that origin of a muscle is going to be the attachment site to the bone that does not move. And the insertion is going to be the attachment site of the bone that does move. Now some of the actions of the various muscles, uh, I'll be talking about flexion and extension. And remember that flexion is the movement that decreases the angle between two parts. And extension is the reverse. Now um, I'll also talk about pronate and supinate. An easy way to remember supinate is cup your hand like you're holding a bowl of soup, and if you dump the soup, that's pronation. Abduction and adduction, remember that adduction is adding to the body, abduction is taking away. Medial rotation is movement towards the midline, so medially rotate would be turning your foot in, laterally rotate would be turning it outward or to the lateral side. And last but not least, when I talk about the mandible and actions of the scapula, I may say elevation and depression. Elevate is bringing up, depression is pulling down. All right, let's get started. Next, we're going to talk about the muscles of the hip. First is gluteus maximus. It originates on the posterior superior iliac spine of the ilium, abbreviated as PSIS, and inserts into the gluteal tuberosity of the femur. The action it performs is extension of the thigh, and it also laterally rotates the thigh. Next is tensor fascia latte. The origination is the iliac crest, and insertion all the way down at the tibia by way of the iliotibial tract, or the IT tract. The actions it performs is abduction of the femur, and also flexion of the femur and it rotates the thigh medially as well. Here we're looking at the iliacus muscle of the hip. The origin is the iliac fossa, the insertion is the lesser trochanter of the femur, and this muscle works hand in hand with another muscle of the hip called the psoas major. Psoas major originates on the bodies and transverse processes of lumbar vertebra one through five, also inserts on the lesser trochanter of the femur. Now together these muscles are called the iliopsoas. They both perform the actions of flexion of the, of the thigh and flexion of the vertebral column and pelvis. Here we're looking at adductor magnus. It originates on the ramus of the ischium right here and then inserts into linea aspera. Its primary action is adduction of the thigh at the hip. Here we have the gracilis muscle. It originates on the inferior ramus of the pubis, here, and inserts on the proximal medial surface of the tibia. Its primary action is adduction of the thigh, just like that. Here we have the sartorius muscle. It originates on the anterior superior iliac spine of the ilium and inserts on the proximal medial surface of the tibia. Its primary action is flexion of the thigh, laterally rotates the thigh, and abduction of the thigh at the hip. Next, we're gonna look at the quadricep group of muscles in the thigh. First is the rectus femoris. It originates on the anterior inferior iliac spine of the ilium just above the acetabulum and inserts on the tibial tuberosity of the tibia. Its primary action is flexion of the thigh. It also extends the leg at the knee. Next in the quadricep group is the vastus medialis. It originates on the linear aspera of the femur and also on the intertrochanteric line of the femur and inserts on the tibial tuberosity of the tibia. Primary action is responsible for extension of the leg at the knee. The next muscle in the quadriceps is vastus intermedius. It has the exact same origin, the linea aspera of the femur, and then inserts into the tibial tuberosity of the tibia and does the same function of extension. Last muscle is vastus lateralis. It originates on the anterior surface of the femur and inserts on the tibial tuberosity of the tibia 
and it also is primarily responsible for extension of the leg at the knee. And this is this shows all four of the quadricep muscles, the rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, and vastus intermedius. Next, we'll go to the posterior side and look at the hamstring group. First is the biceps femoris. It, um, with the name biceps, it's gonna have two heads, so it has a short head and a long head. The origination of the long head is the ischial tuberosity of the ischium, right up here and then goes down and inserts on the head of the fibula. Now the short head is going to originate on the linea aspera of the femur and also insert on the head of the fibula. These muscles are responsible for extension of the thigh and also flexion of the leg at the knee. So they do the reverse action that the quadricep. The next muscle of the hamstring group is the semitendinosus. Its origin is the ischial tuberosity of the ischium and inserts on the proximal medial surface of the tibia. Its primary action is flexion of the leg at the knee and also performs extension of the thigh at the hip. And the final muscle of the hamstring group is the membranosus. It inserts on the ischial tuberosity of the ischium as well, but attaches at the medial condyle of the tibia. They all three perform the same action of flexion of the leg at the knee and extension of the thigh at the hip. So the three muscles of the hamstring group are semitendinosus, semimembranosus, and the biceps femoris. We'll move down to the calf muscles of the leg. First we'll look at gastrocnemius here. Its origin is going to be proximal to the lateral and medial condyles of the femur and it inserts on the calcaneus bone via the Achilles tendon. Its primary action is plantar flexion of the foot. It also performs flexion of the leg at the knee. Now we'll look at the anterior view of the lower leg and looking at tibialis anterior. It originates on the anterior lateral surface of the tibia and inserts at the metatarsal number one. Its primary action is dorsal flexion of the foot, which is the opposite of the gastrox. When they do plantar flexion, the tibialis anterior does the dorsiflexion. And that concludes my presentation on the muscles of the lower extremity.